Hello there guys, Francis Gray here and today we're going to be taking this festive Christmas lantern candle and we're going to be uh, goffing it up and making it into a Halloween lantern. Okay guys, so I got this from a local shop, uh, there's not there's nothing actually on here that says where it's made from, it just says Noel light up lantern with timer, and then just to uh, brief just instructions on how to uh, keep it uh, operating and batteries etc, and then it just says uh, made in China, uh, and underneath it says something about maxi save United or something and then it says Australia so I'm not right too sure so yeah so first things first let's get rid of this okay guys so as you can see there it is a steady quite look cool looking lantern but uh, on this channel yeah we're not gonna do the Christmas uh, thing so we're gonna goff this up and make it look more uh, Halloweenish. So first things first, I need to take this apart, and I think I'm have to start with some little screws on the bottom there. Okay, guys, it's always a good idea to keep the screws somewhere safe where you're not going to lose them. OK guys, I think the top is actually just clipped in place. So I'm going to try and get this off in one go. Okay guys, that was a lot easier than uh, expected. Okay, so now we can get rid of this. And then hopefully this will just come straight out. There we go. So you can see here, it's three candles. Now we can go ahead and just use those if we wanted, or we could replace it with a lot bigger, lock, lock, thicker candle so I'll think about that and I'll show you that in the next stage but for now we need to take away all all these extra parts Okay guys, so you can see there, it's just a basic frame now, so I need to give this a quick clean. Okay guys, so you always want to be yeah, careful with the glass, because this glass is actually super thin. So it could easily break, and if one breaks, then you might as well just throw this whole project in the scrap pile. Oh man, that uh, that white fake snow stuff is uh, it's terrible. It gets everywhere. Okay, guys. So for the next part, we're going to go ahead and we are going to try and have a quick look and measure what distance we have to play with. So we're looking at a width of uh, nine nine point four centimeters. So for the next part, we're gonna need to make some strips to go down the side in the middle. So actually, probably actually on second thought, it actually may be better do one long strip in the middle and then some on the sides there. So that needs to be re redone. Right, 
so the current this is 182 millimeters 182 millimeters so I need to write that down so I don't forget that okay guys so for the next part I've gone ahead and uh, this is my trusty jar of uh, coffee stirrers now every time I go in for a coffee from one of the stores I always walk out with a lot of uh, a lot of these because they uh, they come in very handy so yeah so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a bunch out uh, the straighter the better because some not all of them are perfectly straight this one seems to be okay and then I'm going to take my straight edge cutting tool and I'm going to use my uh, hobby saw and I'm going to carefully take one of the ends off, measure 182 millimeters, cut the other side and then we're going to stick these middle parts in place. Okay guys, so as you can see there, it's actually more or less the perfect size, so it looks like I just need to chop the ends off. Okay guys, as you can see, that fits perfect. So I'll go ahead and I'll make another four of these, and then we can uh, think about gluing it in place. Okay guys, so for the next part I need to make sure before I glue the centre parts in that it's all lined up perfect. So I might need to put the glass back in place and then put these corner brackets back in place. Hope that's just secured and then I can go ahead and I can glue the, uh, the middle centre parts. Okay guys, I doubt I need to put all four corners on because uh, I think just these two corners here will be fine. Okay, so for the next part, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to PVA glue these in place. Okay guys, just regular PVA glue. Okay guys, it's no big deal if you get a little bit of PVA glue stainage on either side, because obviously this is going to be uh, like gunked up in a later stage, so don't worry about that. So I'll just continue on with all the other sides. So go ahead and I'll leave that to dry. Okay guys, so now that these are uh, glued in place, I can go ahead and I can do the same thing, but I can do them on the sides. Okay guys, so I'll go ahead and leave that to dry. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the others. I'll do them off camera to save time, but it's basically the exact same process. Okay guys, so as you can see there, all the uh, coffee stavers are now glued in place. So for the next part we need to go ahead and we need to paint this black. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my uh, trusty airbrush with some uh, watered down black paint. And I'm just going to gently just go straight across. Now it will overlap onto the glass, but that's totally fine because uh, it gives it more of a rustic, old, used kind of look. So we're just going to go ahead with that because obviously the darker this is, the more the light will emanate out of the panes of glass that's unaffected. So yeah, so uh, let's uh, get cracking on.
Okay guys, so at first glance that's uh, worked out really well. Now as you can tell, obviously the undersides uh, are shown through. So for the next stage I'm going to take these brackets off, take the piece of panzer glass out and then I'm going to spray paint the underside as well. Okay guys, so while uh, I leave those to dry, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give these parts a spray paint of, uh, of a matte black. So now that these are dry, now you might be able to see they look great from the front, but when you turn it from an angle, the the obviously the paint from the airbrush couldn't get to those parts. So we need to go ahead and we need to top those parts up. So what I'm going to do is just go in with a fine edge brush and then just some regular acrylic uh, black and then take my time and then paint those areas. Okay guys, so as you can see there, that looks a lot better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do the rest of them off camera because there's no point showing you that, it's just going to be the same process. And uh, hopefully after that we can then uh, put these bad boys back into place. Okay guys, so for the next part I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to re-put these into position. Okay guys, so as you can see, that looks a lot more better and a lot more atmospheric. Okay, so for the next part, we need to concentrate on the candle. Okay guys, so as you can see here, now this is the candle that you got with it. Now, it's okay I suppose, but uh, I'm not overly impressed by it, so instead uh, I've had this candle for a while. Now it is a uh, battery operated uh, candle which is very yeah, the same as this but obviously that is a much more impressive uh, sight visually. Obviously the light lights up on the inside so it gives this like hollow uh, effect which will work really well and uh, also it's roughly the same circumference so it definitely should fit inside the uh, base. Now I got this really cheap because uh, somebody, uh, it was on display in the shop, somebody took it out of the box and then uh, decided to push the on off switch uh, a little too hard and the switch fell on the inside there so it, uh, it uh, yeah unfortunately it was broke so I got this for something stupid like uh, 20p or something like that so uh, really good bargain so yeah so I thought I'm gonna mishmash the two together to make a better all round candle. Okay guys, so we want to try and keep this base, because obviously this base is the original base, so this one will fit perfect. So I'm going to try and dis uh, disassemble these uh, candles off place and then put that one in, uh, in its place. Okay. 
Okay guys, so I'll go ahead and I'll put these to one side because we might be able to reuse these again in the future. Okay guys, so uh, if I've got this correct, then I think I can just wire these up to this and it should work exactly the same. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this and see if, see if that works. Okay guys, now a wise man would go ahead and would have soldered those together, but well, here we are. So yeah, so for the next part I'm going to take a taper light and I'm going to shrink these down. Okay guys, so this here, now uh, this is really good because it's got different settings. So obviously you've got your off setting, and where you've got your 4 hour setting, or you've got your 8 hour setting. So obviously the 8 hour will uh, is not as lightly bright, but obviously it'll, uh, it has a bit more of like a, a little bit of a flicker effect. I don't know if the camera's picking that up or not. And then obviously the 4 hour is uh, it's more or less the same but a little bit brighter and a little bit faster so I think I'll only ever put mine on the 8 hour so for the next stage we need to uh, glue that into position so I don't know whether to install this first and then and then add that uh, or just glue it all together now so I'm going to do a little bit of a measurement up com compared to the actual case and then uh, I'll see you in the next part. Okay guys, so it does fit uh, quite snugly. Uh, now there is a tiny bit of a, of a scrapage on the sides and uh, that's no big deal. So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna hot glue this candle into place and then we can uh, refix these parts at a later stage. Okay guys, that didn't really seem to work very well, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to add some scratch marks and hopefully this uh, it'll, ha it'll work better next time. Okay guys, let's go ahead and try that again. That seems to have worked a lot better so for the next stage uh, we'll just make sure it's still working yep so for the next stage we'll go ahead and we'll get it back in place here okay guys so I'm gonna go ahead with the hot glue gun again and I'm gonna secure this part in place and I'm also going to clog up these uh, four holes as well. Okay guys, that seems to have worked really well. Okay guys, sorry about that, there was a few little niggly, little horrible bits at the bottom there that needed uh, taken away. But uh, now that that's done, okay, so uh, for the next stage, I'm going to get uh, a real wax candle 
and I'm going to burn it and I'm going to add some residue in the bottom and around the candle. Uh, that's why we blocked off those four little holes so the so it didn't leak out. Uh, and then uh, hopefully that'll make it look like uh, previous candles have uh, melted in there over time. So yeah, let's crack on with that. Okay guys, so as you can see there's been the odd little bit that's stripped over but for the most part that, uh, that looks a lot better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to give uh, these extra bits that have dripped on the side a bit of clean up and then we can think about adding the, uh, adding the top again. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you can see there, that black bottom is a little bit quite elevated up because obviously when it was a Christmas land it was hidden away with all the uh, branches. So the only thought that I have is to keep doing the uh, the the uh, candle, uh, the real wax from the candle uh, and just build it up around the sides until that's uh, actually hidden away so yeah so that'll take me quite a while so I'll crack on with that and then I'll show you the uh, finished results eventually okay guys so I went ahead and I uh, melted a bunch of candles so as you can see here it's built up a lot of wax and it's hidden that uh, black frame under there so it just gives across the illusion that uh, it's been well used and uh, Obviously, it's not been uh, cleaned out anytime soon. So, yeah, so I think that worked out rather well. So there's an image of it from underneath. So for the next next bit, I've uh, cut off a little bit of scouring sponge and I'm just going to go over these little windows and I'm just going to try and uh, take a little surface layer of, uh, of the paint off from the airbrush so it, it accumulates only in the corners to give across that somebody's been clean it to get that little bit of extra light Okay guys, that seemed to have worked pretty well. So for the next part, we're gonna go ahead and uh, gonna reattach the top. Okay guys, so for the final step, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, silver and we're gonna dry brush some details on the metal. So I'll go ahead and I'll leave that to dry and then we can give it a coat of matte varnish.
Okay guys, so as you can see here, it's now finished. Me, myself, I think that looks a lot better. So obviously this is how it was originally. And then this is where it is now. So to say they were all just random parts chucked together, I think this turned out really nice. So I don't know if the uh, it's showing up on the camera or not. I'll turn the light off. But uh really gives like a like a haunting kind of glow to the piece. So yeah, so I'm uh, all in all I'm uh, really happy with this. So if you've enjoyed this video, please smash that like button, share on Facebook and Twitter because it helps new people find the YouTube channel, which I'm always appreciative. Thank you for thank you for your help. Uh, if you've got any comments, comment below, and uh, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on future builds. So once again, I'm Francis Gray, and this is the Halloween candle remake or <laughs> refurbished, I suppose. Uh, build so uh, yeah, thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you very much. Goodbye